Hello and welcome. This is H. John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. We're going to be learning about multiple activities, how to start an activity from one activity, and also later, um, this because this is going to be a series of uh, of tutorials based on this on this theme. We're going to be able to pass information from one activity to the other and back and forth. So how to transfer data. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new Android Studio project. Let's call it Two Activities. Next. Next. Empty Activity. Next. And Finish. All right. Well, now that it's finally finished building, uh, I'm going to change the app theme to my prototypical device default light. Uh, that way, everyone has an opportunity to look the same. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up with two layouts and two main activities. And then we're going to uh, modify the manifest uh, to work with the two um, different things. So first thing we're going to do is copy and paste and into the same folder main activity step we're going to call this activity move the mouse out of the way tiv activity two and no space okay all right, and we're going to do the same thing with this. Copy, paste, and we're going to call this activity main, main, I'm going to call this activity underscore two. Right. There we go. We've got those things created. Now, one of the things we need to do uh, back here in Activity 2 is go back in here, Activity 2. Uh, this is pointing to the different uh, layout. We actually need to point it towards Activity 2 rather than Activity Main. So we'll just start there and it'll pop up in Activity 2. There, that's fixed. All right, we've got the basics down. And let's go into our, all right, this is activity main. So this is the primary one. So let's redo this primary. And we won't need the ID for this, but we're going to call it primary anyway, because it's good practice. And then we're going to go into activity two. And it's the second one. So we're going to call it secondary. And we're going to name it second. And we're also going to need a button in both of these. So drag and drop a button, put it right here. And I just wanted to say button. And this is activity two. So this will be button two. All right. And then we'll go back to activity main. Double clicked, I double click too often. Uh, button in the middle, double click, button, button one. All right, we've got all the basic formatting and everything that we need here. So now we need to go into our Java for our main activity and we're going to add some code. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to place a button, uh, give it a listener and then tell it to click over to the other activity. So the way we do that is, of course, is we begin with our button. Button. And we're going to call this a variable button1. And 
and it's going to be a button and find view the ID and we're going to R dot ID and whoops uh, R dot ID dot button and this is going to be button one because we're on main activity all right all right then we close that and there we've cast our button now we need to add uh, the listener so button oops button one dot set on call on click listener and one of the things that you're going to see here is because the we haven't added this class the alt enter over while hovering over it will add it to automatically on click listener and I must have spelled something wrong here button one dot set on click listener I don't know what I did wrong anyway I set on click listener and then I want this to be a new ah, on click listener we'll think for a second then I'll put that there and it's in here that we're going to put our intent. So intent, intent, and this is red again because we need to alt enter and automatically insert up here. Intent uh, equals new intent. And then in here for the argument, we need to get application context and I will put a link down below so you can read about more about application context and then activity 2 and then we're going to put dot class okay all right then we close this and then we use this uh, uh, set activity to launch um, our intent um, start activity intent intent and intent <laughs> you have to spell it right or you could just copy and paste it oh wow, I spelled it wrong there too spelling errors will get me every time all right, and that pretty much finishes our code. Now we have to go in and change our manifest. We do that by going up to manifest, opening up Android manifest, and adding it as another activity. And we'll just click here and start with activity with autofills and autofills and then close and it autofills. And uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, you're done. So just click run. If you haven't already got your emulator open, this should take a couple of seconds to open it. All right, once it's up and running, we'll click the button, and you can see it switches to the second activity. And uh, that's pretty much all we're going to do for this tutorial. We will expand on this application in the next uh, tutorial, and I'll see you there. This has been Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join me. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.